Hi everyone and welcome back to the Oh So and So. Well, it's January and it's time to take down all of the Christmas decorations, which it is so hard for me to do. So, but this year I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do things just a little different. Um, I know for a fact that my house was a total wreck when I was putting all this stuff out. So I thought this time, taking it down, I was going to do something different. So instead of just like taking everything down and start to pack it up, I'm like, I'm going to do it bits and pieces here and there because I have the time. Um, so I thought I would do small things first. Like, I think I'm gonna do the table. Um, I'm gonna take the vintage ornaments off. Um, I'm gonna break these little gift boxes down, napkins, and put them in the spots in the kitchen. So I know the dishes will go in the kitchen because I have a cabinet at the bottom just for my Christmas dishes and for the glasses. I'll put the candy back in this cabinet over here. So I got this box and I know you saw it at the beginning. Um, so I thought this time I was going to put my small vintage ornaments in just one box. Hopefully, um, if the Lord be willing for the upcoming Christmas, it will be a whole lot easier to get the trees out, place them, because um, I've already started working on in my mind how I'm going to decorate for the upcoming Christmas. So, all right, guys, so let's start to take things off. It's, it's hard. So, we're going to start with this little tree. Um, I don't know if I need to move you or if you have a better I think I'll move you come on we're gonna we're gonna move over here maybe I think the glare from the uh, porch is making a difference okay so I'm only going to take the vintage Christmas first and it is so hard so hard so I want to take all of these off first and these are so cute they're plastic and it says made in Hong Kong but they are definitely so cute so, here we go. I hope that, I hope that your holiday was everything that you hoped for. I do know right now, it is cold outside. Um, and, if, and it's like, you know, there's some things that I bought not too long ago, which it's really so hard to go ahead and put it up because I haven't had time to really enjoy it. Now, I don't know if you do this. You get everything off. Okay, I did get all of those. Now, vintage, vintage, Vintage is what we're wanting to take. So we know this is vintage. And this is vintage. 
I definitely want to be careful with this, which that's not working out very well. Let's see. Oh, uh, because I was so good about weaving it in and out. Let me move the chairs. I don't even know if this is going to make any difference for next year's Christmas decorating. But I do know one thing. I have had a good time looking for the vintage and using the vintage ornaments. It kind of makes me think of, you know, being at Grandma's house, which was always a very special time. Weaving them here and out. Well, let me just take some of these off. Alrighty. Let me get this off. This is so hard to do. Okay. So, I'm going to take all the vintage off and then I'll come back. Okay, we're back. Now, um, I even took off all the greenery, all the Christmas from the shelf over the door, cleaned it off. And I put back what I had up there before um, decorating for Christmas because that would be another issue if you decorated different than what it was before. You're talking about taking some time. I don't want to do that right now. So I am literally putting back what I had up there. And so, and all this greenery, this is some that, you know, fell off that was left over. So make sure you save this. And I have a pile, so let me go put it in the pile. All right, trying to separate everything. Now, these were up there, um, up above the, um, the door out to the deck. Okay, um, they're vintage. I purchased these probably about five or six years ago. Um, you can um, make them flat, but this year I decided I was going to tape. So I'm going to keep these together and I'm Hoping that they'll work this way to where um, maybe I can put them this way. Mm, maybe not. Well, at least if I put them that way, stored them in a drawer, I think that'll work. Hmm, that'll work. All right, so. Uh, um, we've got that all took down, everything from the table. I took the ribbons off, um, Dolly and Dora. Dora's the one that sits down, Dolly's the one that's up. And I know you're probably like, stuffed chickens. It was one of those shopping things that, oh, this will be so cool. And I have enjoyed it. Alrighty, so... As far as I know, the eating area is completely un-Christmas, un-Christmasized, un, 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 you know what I mean. All right, so now we're going to, um, I didn't use this, I just, the little apron, um, I just use it for looks. Uh, so, but if this one was, the hand, when I found it, was falling off, 
and it was left behind and I thought, well, you know what? That is a simple sew. Just takes a little time just to sew it up. Okay, all right, so now I have to decide what I'm going to put back on this table. Um, I don't want to use a lot. Um, I'm not sure what this is going to look like. So let me put these two guys together. Let's see if that works out. Okay. And then I'm gonna set them off to the side, hopefully without dropping them. Okay, so now my thought is, I've already cleaned this off. I've already wiped that off, made sure everything was back. So now I'm thinking about um, maybe leaving out um, the snowman. <clears throat> so, um, I took the stuff out of the cabinet behind you, and I have this, this wood tray that has like potpourri in it. So, let me get that out. And that's where I had like some of the candles. Okay. So I don't want to use this so I can put all of my picks together. And I was really surprised these picks were just $3. That was, I think that was a good buy. Alrighty, so picks go in a pile. We're trying to stay organized. Alrighty, so I like that. Um, I, I do have, I do have this, and there's another candle. I have this one. Um, and let me use this pretty good size tablecloth or hand towel. You know, it's a linen. I'll definitely need to iron that. Um, but I do have an idea. And it's in the kitchen area, which will save me from having to pack it. So, I'm wondering what this will look like. So this way, I can get this uncluttered, packed, and redecorated for a few months. Let's see how this will look. All righty. Now, I do want to take this one out because it does remind me of a candy cane. I wanna sit that right there. And um, I don't know if I should take these out, these other candles, and just put that guy in there, which I don't know. Um, let's try it. I mean, that's the nice thing about piddling. If you don't like it, you can always redo it. this stuff. Boy, it's strong. So, let's see. What do you think? It's a little different. I only want a little bit out. I don't know. Um, I think a little bit is good. It's still, it's still January, February, and March here. Um, I think that will be okay. Um, I'm wondering if I did another layer 
lot of stuff. So let's see if that works. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Um, so I thought about the, uh, the snowman in the dough bowl and I thought, you know, I like it. It's just enough. It's not too much. Um, so that's definitely what we're going to go with. I like it. Um, I do want to let you know that this table that we are decorating right now is over three generations old. And it is walnut. And so it's definitely over 200 years. It definitely has a lot of memories and things like that. Um, when Todd and I got it from his mom, um, I think like 20 years ago, um, they used to put like tablecloths over it, you know, that the vinyl that had that white stuff on the back. And then over the years, a lot of that white stuff had stuck to it. Plus, um, my husband's grandmother, she used to iron on top of it. And so there's cheesecloth buried in it. And so when we got the table, um, <clears throat> Todd said, well, we'll just refinish it. I said, no. I said, um, because that will take off the character of this piece. Uh, so... I kept it exactly how it was. Thank goodness, over those 20 years, we've used it, that white stuff from the back of those uh, tablecloths are now gone. The cheesecloth is still there, but anyway. All right, so I'm going to put down my old faithful here. Um, and... I want to use this for some hype. So hopefully this will work out. Um, let's hope. Before I put anything down, I got to make sure it's at the right, you know, enough distance here and enough distance there. So that looks pretty good. Okay. Now... We're going to use this piece a little different this time. Instead of using it this way, I'm going to use it the other way. And I want to put it at kind of like an angle. And then we're going to layer it. So I'll get all this stuff put together. And before the day's out, I'm going to iron this one. Okay. And then I think this works out perfectly. Um, I am going to, I'm going to paint the back though. I'm just going to paint this part white and then from here over and up black. So it doesn't stick out. And so that's it. Plain, simple, and still for the winter. Alrighty, guys. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this gives you some help in putting all this Christmas stuff away. I still have a lot more. Um, maybe I'll, I'll do some more filming of it. And after doing it, taking the Christmas up, then maybe I'll, you know, go ahead and decorate for January, February, and kind of March, because it gets cold here in Tennessee. Alrighty, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. I hope you've enjoyed this old so-and-so. Piddle around the house and pack Christmas away. Alrighty, guys, until next time, enjoy every moment. Bye.